My name is Alex Cecilio. I'm a graphic artist, and I'm going to show you how to make a puddle of water in a photo in Photoshop. So here I've got my picture of an unrenovated bathroom. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go over to the lasso tool, which is right below the marquee tool, and select that. And I'm going to go ahead and select just a portion of my image, and I'm going to hit Command C, and this is going to make a copy. Then I'm going to go to my layers, and right next to the trash can is the new layer button, so click that, and a new layer will appear. And you can hit Command V, and your image will pop up. So first things first, I need to make sure that this puddle looks puddle-like. So I'm going to hit uh, control click or right click and go to free transform. And this is going to free transform your object, but then you're also going to right click again and you're going to select warp. And this is going to make it so that you can really define your puddle and make it more puddle-like, I should say. So, you know, depending on what you want your puddle to look like, I kind of want it to look weird like that. Um, and so, on, and then up, up in the corner, you're going to want to make sure you select your check, because that means that's what you want to apply to your photo. And now I'm going to actually uh, erase some of it. And I'm using, the eraser I'm using is actually a, a fuzzier brush than and not solid, and the reason I'm doing that is because I want it to look more natural. So I'm just going to erase around the edges so it doesn't look really sharp. Then I'm going to go ahead and put it next to the floor. And if you know it doesn't match with what you got in your picture, you can always just erase around. All right, so now we've got this sh random shape. And so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my layer opacity in the layers and I'm going to select a different filter. So I'm going to actually select either overlay, which kind of gives, it's not really a uh, light enough, so let, or you could do soft light, um, you can do lighten. And I'm going to try a couple different ones because I really want one that's going to look like a puddle. Alright, so I guess overlay was fine. So now we've got our sort of puddle looking thing, but it's not quite puddle like yet. And the reason is because there's no light reflecting off of this puddle. So what I'm going to do is there's a couple ways you can play around with this, but I'm going to go ahead right below the blur tool is the dodge and burn tool. So I'm going to select the dodge tool. And there are three options when you're dodging. And there's shadows, midtones, and highlights. And this really can all depend on the colors and what your, um, how sensitive, it, uh, how high your exposure is. So I'm gonna go ahead and select highlights because it's actually gonna give me what I'm looking for. And so you can just kinda like add a couple of like little highlights I'm going to up my exposure. And this can get look really tricky because light on water has a very specific look to it. So if this isn't working for you, if you don't like the way the dodge, you know, works with your puddle, which is understandable because when you change the opacity, it's going to also affect how dodge is used on this particular item. You can always just use the uh, paintbrush tool and add a new layer and you can kind of mess around with that, like so. And this doesn't look like much at first, but then if you start messing around with the smudge tool, which is right below the paint bucket tool, right there, you can then smudge around your, uh, your whites. And if you want to even do something like that, so that we've got 
some more in there. And you can even get a even softer brush. Yeah, that's what we've got right now. And just add very little like glimmers so that it just looks like there's light bouncing off of it. I can also do that right here. I don't like how that's turning out, but anyway, you know what I mean. So there's a basic effect. And so kind of looks like a puddle of water came out of from underneath the bathtub. My name is Alex, and this is how you make a puddle of water in a photo in Photoshop. Thank you.